I was gonna say hi, I was gonna say welcome back. So, um, today I wanted to talk about picking your perfect contour shade. This isn't easy. It's actually really difficult. It's about as difficult as picking your favorite, your favorite, <laughs> your perfect foundation shade. These aren't easy things, <laughs> but we can try to get you as close as possible. I have talked about contour in the past and in other videos and I can link them like below if you want a little bit more description, but I wanted to talk mostly about the color. <sighs> so one of the things that I talk about when I'm discussing how to choose your perfect foundation shade is to keep in mind the fact that your skin is not a flat color. It's not, it's not opaque. Uh, you have blood and veins and muscle. You've got all the shit going on underneath there, right? There's layers. Uh, so it is actually more, there's more depth to your natural skin than there is to a single makeup product. So if you pick up a foundation or a bronzer or a contour color that isn't going to work perfectly with your skin, it's going to be super obvious. So it's really important to understand your undertones. My theory about this is that there are undertones and overtones. So it's kind of like what color is underneath your skin and then the color that's on top of it and then they kind of come together to create your skin tone. This is what I think. Because I think that there are people out there who have a cool toned undertone, but then they have like maybe a more warm or yellow overtone. I don't know if this makes sense. When I see Jay Kissa, that's what I think of. I think of her as having a cooler undertone, like blues, but then slightly more like fair yellowy skin over that. I can't explain to you how I know these things. It's just what I see. For me, my shadows tend to be much more on the green side. I have like a lot of green underneath my skin. And then my overtone, in my opinion, is more like neutrally olive kind of. I don't know if this makes sense. Anyway, contouring olive skin in particular is very, very difficult because a lot of contour colors out there these days are incredibly cool toned. They go more gray, more purpley, or they just end up looking kind of like red, especially on olive skin. So I wanted to share with you some of my favorites and just kind of talk about the different colors and who they would work for. I guess that's it. I should have set my under eyes, they're gonna crease so badly. I don't have a ton of products, and in my personal opinion, none of these shades are perfection, <laughs> but I've gotten pretty close. So if you've been following me for a while, then you probably know that my favorite contour shade is light medium contour stick from KKW Beauty. It's what I used. I, well, I used it on my jawline today and just to do a little bit on my nose. I haven't put anything on my cheekbones yet because I want to compare two shades for you so you can kind of get an idea of the difference. Now, I've talked about this in other videos, but one of the reasons that I like this color so much is first of all, it's one product. I don't have to mix it, which is really nice. It's warm and cool toned enough that it works for my skin. It's not perfect, but it's in my opinion, the best one that I've found. Another shade that I think is incredibly close for my skin tone is the light contour shade from the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. Uh, I got this palette literally just for the shade because it does look so close. Um, that's probably actually the best color for my olive skin. It is a very beautiful formula. It is Dior, you know, so it's not cheap, but it's so worth it. And this palette has lasted me forever. So if you compare them, it's a little bit tough. That is probably a little bit more on, this is tough because I feel like the camera never picks it up exactly. Obviously the KKW Beauty contour stick is much darker and this one is a little bit more sheer. This is almost perfect. If you kind of like look at the shadows on my face, I don't know how we can do this really, but if you look at the shadows, the undertone is so close to that. Like when I look at my shadows, I see much more green in my skin. Now, obviously it's gonna be difficult. I'm using like artificial lighting. I got a blue background. All of those things are going to, you know, I'm recording this on a camera. All of those things are going to manipulate the colors that you actually see. But I do have quite a bit of green in my skin, obviously, because I am olive. Like if you look at my neck right now compared to my face, now I do mix my foundation to get it as close as possible, but you might be able to tell that even all of this is just still a little bit more neutrally than this shade right here. You might see a tiny bit more pink or a, light, a little bit more orange in it. So these colors, in my opinion, are the closest I 
have been able to find for olive. They have a little bit more warmth, but they're cool toned enough that they're not like orange. Uh, so they do tend to pull a little bit more on the green side, which is really nice. Another cream product that I have been loving, it's not necessarily perfect for my skin tone. Uh, this is by Vanity Makeup. This is the Fair Sculpt and Glow Palette. First of all, this product is incredibly pigmented, just so you know it. I know a few of you guys have picked them up. So you can see the difference between these shades. There's so much more warmth in these colors right here. Uh, this is obviously, I would say this is a little bit more cool toned maybe than the Dior shade. That is so cool toned, almost gray looking compared to these. You can see the purple in it. This color is going to be perfect for someone who is fair skinned and has a lot more pink in their skin, like pink and then maybe blue tones, if that makes sense. So if you're cool toned and you're very fair, that's going to be perfection for you. Sometimes it can look a little bit dead on me. It's not the kind of thing that I wanna use on like my natural skin, but if I do have a full face of makeup, I will use this product because I really do like it, but the color isn't perfect for my olive skin. I'm actually going to be showing you the difference between the KKW Beauty Contour Stick and this color so that you can see the difference. Or should I use the Fenty one? Since we're here, let's talk about the Fenty one. So Fenty has these cream bronzers. One of them is uh, amber. So this is the, the Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer. They also have the sticks. I picked up amber forever ago. And when I used it, I was like, oh my God, this is so gray. <laughs> it's very, it's very similar actually in tone, I would say to uh, the one that I just showed you. Oh God, but it's even more purple. It's crazy. So, so these are, uh, this is Fenty, whatever I just said. And then Here's the vanity makeup one. What did I call that? Amber. So it's a little bit tough, I think, for you guys to see. Oh, if I hold it right there, you can see. Do you see how purple that is? It's like so cool toned, it looks dead on my skin. Obviously, if you're looking at these, this one, <laughs> the KKW Beauty stick looks a lot more red right now when we have them all next to each other. This one looks almost perfect, like almost perfect. A little bit more warm, uh, but you know, dark enough and deep enough, cool toned enough that it can act as a shadow. Cause you can kind of see as I turn my face, that doesn't look like that. It's not purple, you know? Like if I create a little bit of a shadow on my face, it's much closer to this shade than it is to any of these. It doesn't look purple, it's not gray. It's not this incredibly cool toned color. Amber was kind of like marketed as like a universal contour shade. And to me, that's just crazy because the only purple that it, purple. <laughs> The only people that it would really work for are people who are incredibly cool toned. Like it just looks so dead on all of the skin, especially if you have if you have any kind of warmth in your skin. Just to compare it, this is Butter Biscuit. This is a, I believe this is like just supposed to be a bronzer next to Amber. So you can see the difference there. This is actually, uh, has a little bit too much red tone in it for my skin in my opinion. <laughs> That's really awkward. But you can see how much more red it has this like the olive really is standing out in the Dior when you compare it to um, the Fenty Butter Biscuit and then I just want to just watch these for you because I just received this so this is really confusing because now it's like KVD vegan beauty or whatever but it's still but the uh, contour palette that they sent me still says Kat Von D on it so I don't know this was one of my favorite contour palettes when I first received it like years ago uh, but now I'm looking at it and I'm like oh so if you look at these shades you can see how much deeper and more, there's so much more red and it's actually a little bit more on the purpley side, this shade, whereas this is much more warm, but compared to my skin, it's still a little bit too like orangey. And then this shade is a little bit more cool toned, a little like closer to that purpley shade. Uh, it's gonna be a lot better for like very, very fair pink skin. All right, so we have the lightest shade, the one in the middle, obviously, and then the darkest one. So you can see the one in the middle is actually kind of close. It's like sort of in between the Dior shade and Butter Biscuit, if you kind of, you know, can compare them. So that's not terrible. I would probably use it maybe more as a bronzer. This is incredibly red, in my opinion. Actually, now that we have them all swatched, you can see how much more like purple and red, come on, purple and red is in this shade compared to the KKW Beauty contour stick. It's actually got a lot more green. Like you can see a little bit more warmth. I don't know if this makes sense to you guys, but I can see a lot more warmth. This looks like it has contains more green. This looks like it contains more red and purple to me. And then obviously this shade uh, is not quite as gray or purple as the top ones, 
but this is going to be a lot better for fair skin with bluer undertones. <sighs> All right, now I wanted to show you the difference between Amber from Fenty and the KKW Beauty contour stick that I typically use. KKW Beauty, I'm gonna use this little guy from Wet n Wild. It's just like a little whatever brush. I don't even know what this is, P77. I like to pick it up on my brush and then place it just under that cheekbone. All right, now this color looks so much more natural for my skin. It creates just like a nice, nice, it's cool toned enough, like I said, it's cool toned enough that it like pushes that area back in space a little bit. Um, if I'm looking straight ahead, you can kind of see that it just works with my overall colors a lot better. I say better, but I haven't shown you amber yet. Let's do amber. Dip my brush in like this. Do you see how cool tone that is? It's crazy. All right, let's try to compare. This is difficult because it's like on my cheekbones. But do you see how cool toned that looks? It almost looks unnatural. Now, obviously if you blend it out, you could probably get away with it. But if I compare it to this side, look at how natural that looks. And then I turn here. This almost looks like a bruise, you know? It looks a little bit disconnected from my skin tone. So here's the thing. If you happen to be using one color product that isn't quite perfect, but the rest of your shades, like your bronzer, your blush, your foundation, everything else is close, your concealer, like it all matches your skin or is very flattering on your skin tone, you're probably not gonna notice the contour as much. If you're using a foundation that's not the right tone, like for, for example, if you are an, have olive skin, very warm, and you're using a neutral foundation, and you're using a concealer that's a little bit too pink for you, and you're using a bronzer that's a little bit too red, and then you go in with a contour shade that's this cool toned, your whole face is going to look so disconnected from the rest of your body. I know that was a lot of information. Hopefully that helped. I don't fucking know, man. That was just like way too much information. I don't know. Bye. I should really like go into a video with a plan.